Hi, let's see one of the gate question which was asked in the year 2008 IT paper. Consider the code fragment written in C below. Means uh, here they have given a few lines of code in the form of a function called EF by taking a parameter of type integer. What does it will print by calling a function called f of 173? So, guys, you know when you are trying to work with the recursion, I have clearly uh, explained in the previous classes. So, which is going to call something, right? If I call, uh, uh, so it is going to create one local variable n with a value 173. For this 173, it is going to work. So, is 173 less than or equal to 1? No, it is going to go for else block, right? So, it is going to call, it is going to call f of n by 2. f of n by 2 means f of 173 by 2, that is 2 to 16, 2 6 are 12, that is 86, right? But after successful completion of this f of 86, f of 86, it has to turn n modulus 2. It has to turn n modulus 2 means after successful completion of f of 86, you have to perform n modulus 2, that is 173 modulus 2. 173 modulus 2 is, uh, it is 1. Am I right? 2816 to 612, reminder is 1. Okay. Next, f of 86 is going to call. Now, n value is 86, right? If it is going to call 86 less than or equal to 1, no. Then, if it is going to perform f of n by 2, that is 243. 43 and after successful completion of f of 43 it has to perform n modulus 2 perform n modulus 2 that is 0 right similarly for n value 43 you have to go for further that is 2 2 0 2 1 0 2 the remainder 1 you are going to write here right means after successful completion of f of 21 uh, you have to calculate uh, this printf statement right similarly for f of 21 you have to get 2 1s are 2, 2 zeros, zero. you are going to get the value 1 here. And then here f of 5 you will get, here you will get 0. Then f of uh, 5 by 2 is 2. Then here you will get the value as 1. Then here you will get uh, uh, f of 2 by 2 is 1. 1. After successful completion of f of 1, it has to get the value here 0. 2 modulus 2 is 0, right? When we call f of 1, my n value is 1. Is n less than or equal to 1? Yes. Then it is going to print the value of n. What is the value of n? That is 1. That is 1, right? Yes. It is the, here the program is going to be stopped because it is going to start uh, again performing printing of all the values in the reverse order as it is a recursion, right? So your answer will be 1 0 1 0 double 1 0 1 whichever it is match that is the answer right so here uh, option d you have to change it with the value 1 so 1 0 1 0 double 1 0 1 so option d is the correct answer okay guys this is the not only the way like uh, you can able to take simply actually stack so as i can able to solve in any manner i have taken like that right you can take this particular position Right, you can able to just simply uh, uh, give some kind of uh, numbering. So I have taken one stack. You know, it's these are recursive function, so it has to uh, be placed in a stack order. So I am taking simply the statement number like zero one. Why to take zero? It's, yeah, for arrays, all those I will take zero because it's system for system work. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, try to observe here. When I am going to call a function called f of 173, 173, it is calling f of 86. It is calling f of 86. But after completion of this f of 86, it has to execute the line number 6. It has to execute the line number 6, right? Yes. When f of 86 is calling, it is calling f of 43. After execution of f of 43, it has to call 6th line. f of 43 will call f of 21. After successful execution of f of 21, it is going to call 6th line. After successful, after execution of f of 21, it is calling f of 10. But after 10 execution, 
it has to call sixth line. Similarly, f of 10 is successful executing, but while calling f of 10, it is calling f of 5. f of 5 of successful execution, it has to call, sorry, here it has to call sixth. While f of 5 is working, it is going to get a call call f of 2. f of 2. So, when f of 2 is done, it has to be called sixth line. Right? While successful executing of f of 2, it is getting f of 1. But of successful execution of f of 1, f of 2 has to execute the sixth line. Right? But when we call f of 1, it is going to be execute the it is going to execute line number two. While execute line number two, it is going to print its value as one. It's going to print its value as one. Right? One printed. One printed. Then sixth line of f of two. Sixth line of f of two means what? In sixth line, for f of two means uh, two modulus two. That is zero is going to print it. In uh, fifth, for n value five, sixth line is executing. Five modulus two is one. For 10th value, 6th line is executing, 10 modulus 2 is 0. For 21, 6th line is executing, 21 modulus 2 is 1. Like this, you are going to get. So, if you are going to write 10, 10, double 101 is the answer. I hope you understood clearly. Okay. So, in continuation to this question, they have asked again us which of the following implementations will produce the same output for f of 173 as the above code. Meaning that f of 173, what are the result it is yielding? The same result has to be produced by uh, both P1 and P2, P2 only, P1 only, neither P1 nor P2. Okay, you have to crash. So, uh, we will take uh, this one. So, we will take the P1. We'll take the p1 so if you are going to pass 173 as input 173 as input so simply we are trying to check for 173 by 2 let's try to observe i will try to make uh, some numbering here 1 2 3 4 and i am trying to make it stack representation for n value 173 is 173 by 2 is positive value or not 173 by 2 you are going to get 86 positive value so it will enter into the block enter the block and it is going to call f of uh, f of n by 2 f of n by 2 means again 86 Okay, so if 86 will call 43, 43 will call 21, 21 will call 10, 10 will call 5, 5 will call 2, 2 will call 1, 1 and then and then when I call f of 1, when I call f of 1 is 1 by 2, is 1 by 2, what will happen? 1 by 2 will be 0, 1 by 2 will be 0, then it is going to execute this one, n mod less 2, n mod less 2, then you are going to yield the value as 1, you are going to yield the value as 1, and then for 2 also it is going to exit it, then it is going to execute 1 mod less 2, for 2, for 2, 2 mod less 2 is 0, then for 5, 5 mod less 2 is 1, for 10, 10 mod less 2 is 0, and so on. So obviously you are going to get the final as 101011 is the answer. Okay, fine. What about the uh, case for P2? So if you are going to call f of 173, f of 173 less than or equal to 1. So it is as 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 like as this question of the actual question. But here they interchange the statements. Means first they are printing, they are recursively calling. First they are printing and they are recursively calling. Try to observe. If I am trying to print first, if I am trying to print first, 173 mod less 2, you are going to get the value 1. And then recursively calling 86. 86 mod less 1 is 0. Is 0. And 86 is calling 43. 43 mod less 2, you are going to get the value 1. 
so now we are going to we are at 43 right so then 43 by 2 is 21 21 modulus 2 that's what the question 21 modulus 2 is 1 is 1 okay fine and then 21 by 2 is 10 10 modulus 2 is 0 is 0 guys you can observe simply uh, at this particular step you can stop the process it is 10 double 1 0 and so on but actual answer is 10 0 1 0 double 1 0 1 so actually it is printing in the reverse order this p2 logic is for reverse printing so option p2 is not correct so p1 only is the correct answer so option c is the correct i hope you understood clearly thank you